The last great race is legendary in the last frontier. At Lake Louise, an Iditarod icon prepares for his return to racing after a 10-year absence. They try to tell me anyway that there's life beyond Iditarod, but uh, maybe so. It's just, just like Grandma used to make here. Dan Seavey, now 74, helped found the race four decades ago. Over the years, he's passed on his passion for mushing to his son, Mitch. Mushing is something that he and I have always had in common since I was a little kid, so here we are now, you know, nearly 50 years later, uh, mushing together, so it's pretty cool. I often wondered what life would be like if I had, say, had an interest in stamp collecting or something like that. But dog mushing is no hobby. After years of dedication and determination, Mitch won the Iditarod in 2004. He's thrilled to once again be training for the top spot with the man who gave him his start. I'm so in awe of him, and, and uh, not only because of his somewhat advanced years, it's just that he's a very good dog musher, and uh, have, having fun, and even as difficult as this can be, we're having a good time. You don't have to mush over 10 miles a day. But these won't be the only two CVs running to Nome this year. Dallas CV, Mitch's son, Dan's grandson, now operates his own kennel outside Willow. Like the dogs around him, mushing is in his blood. This will be his sixth Iditarod, the first with his grandpa. I get a lot of inspiration from him because he, he sets his mind on something, he has his goals, and he does it. Easy as that. And it doesn't seem extreme when you talk to him. It's, what else are we going to do? We had dogs, we wanted to travel, so of course we're going to do the Iditarod. A son and a grandson, Dallas is now a father himself. Though she's only a year and a half old, Annie's already showing signs she could be an Iditarod contender one day. There's no pressure. If she wants to get into ballet, <laughs> so be it. That's great. Um, you know, there's no pressure that she has to race dogs or that I feel like she should race dogs. No. If she wants to, I will support her 100%. If she doesn't want to, uh, she's smarter than I am. <laughs> After a few generations of mushing men, it seems the next chapter of CB family history will be written by women. Annie is just one of Dan's three great granddaughters. Another, Alex, is also showing an interest in the family sport. One of the highlights of, of my existence uh, came about, oh, about a year ago now, I guess. Shirley, my wife, and I purchased uh, a kid's sled for Alex, who is uh, Danny's, the oldest grandson's daughter. And to see her hook up one dog and go down the trail, <laughs> There, you know, there goes the fourth generation. And I thought, boy, this is, <laughs> this is pretty cool. Arno, Arno. While Dan may have started the dog mushing dynasty, he says the rest of the family is quickly leading the way to becoming world-class champions. Dallas is, he's, he's the best musher probably in the world at his age.